Here is Presley Hudson swinging it over to Moore, who gets the Chippewas off to a good start. Chipman will pull. You can't give her that much space. Just a quick opportunity. 11 and one this season. Wide open is Hudson from behind the arc, and she nails it. And a fresh 30, Swery will hoist and hit. And a little bit of improvement after that possession. Najee Smith is checked in as Cotton gets the step, and she scores. As Hudson steps outside, offensive rebound from Cotton. Creates an open look for Breen, yes. Smith will try, she's open and knocks down the triple. Cotton with some room to operate, will take the jumper and knock it down. We need her to be big this afternoon. Whip pass and Corley gets to the bucket. Nice find for Presley Hudson. Zips it over to Hill and she finds it off the glass and scores. Western hanging around. Brooks a tough look and she finishes. Hudson stuck, she's picked up her dribble, and that leaves it for Wimby, who swipes it. She'll go in against Frost and scores. Final 40 seconds of the first half. Cotton in between three defenders, catches and lays it in. Uh, it's just, it, it's so important, and, and the work that they do is, is always appreciated, and it's just an important thing to always keep in mind. Green out of the timeout, knocks down the long three. Been a little herky-jerky on the offensive side. Need to gather things up and get some stops. Instead, Moore scores inside. They're going to have to adjust. They've been on it a certain way, and then they go no call there. Brooks out all alone, an easy lay-in. Pulls the Broncos to within eight. Presley Hudson has been very quiet for CMU, just three points. They go inside to Moore. She works. Turns and gets it to go in. Tough shot as she worked against Marley Hill. We're talking about Hill zero points. I mean, Shipman's only got five, and she's a double-digit scorer as well. Knocked down an early three, but she's been silent since. Tanar Moore with back-to-back -back baskets as she scores again. Under 10 on the clock. Hudson steps back for three and nails it. Second triple for Hudson. Maybe that gets her going. She has six. Works on Parks' step back three, it's good. That's what you want if you're a Bronco fan. Her to continue to shoot. Misses though, but a steal from Wimby as she picks off the outlet pass. And the first two points for Marley Hill coming just a minute into the fourth quarter. Great touch pass to Frost. Uses the right side of the basket. Offensive rebound at Jewel Cotton. 19 for the redshirt senior. Little press from WMU, Chippewas break it. Left all alone, Frost gets the kind roll. Meantime, Central Michigan trying to close it out. Great pass as Jewel Cotton is left alone. Central Michigan picks up their fourth straight victory this season and against Western Michigan, the final 94 to 83. You know, again, you look at, you know, at Cotton with, with 21 tonight, you know, so it, we have a, a variety of people, and especially in the post, because if we've got three bigs like that, and Jewel, you know, she can handle the ball, but she's got somebody smaller on her, we can post her up, you know, and then she's got a nice little pull up. So it's, we, we've talked about this before, Jim. We talk about the consistency, consistency. We've been consistent.